have two heaters inside the bus that we're taking out. This one and this one. Both of them are fed from a water line inside the engine department and it feeds along this thing. That's all gotta come out. But there's gonna be a lot of water involved. It turns out there's two valves underneath, well, in the back of the bus. One for the uh, outflow and one for the return. This one I think is the outflow. We turned it off. This, I think, is the inflow, or it might be the outflow, but I think it's the inflow. Either way, it doesn't matter. But we have to close it, and it doesn't have a knob on this one, so we're gonna need some pliers. Okay. There's nothing easy about this. It's a radiator hose, it's filled with water, even though the valves are off. So nothing's coming out of the radio. This is just in the lines and there's a lot of lines. And unfortunately it's old and I have to wrestle it to get it off. So hopefully I can get out of here without drowning. Oh God, that's some of the insulation. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh... The hose clamp failed. <laughs> this is the screw that's supposed to unscrew it. There, but it's loose now for sure. Okay, oh God. Just, oh yeah, there we go. Oh my God. <laughs> This is gonna be so messy. But it looks like it's gonna come off. Uh, there's just no easy way. Here it goes, here we go. Mike just drained outside is coming out of this heater and all these pipes right here. So now that he's draining the water out, he can take off all those metal pieces and remove all these pipes and all this stuff. It's all gotta go. out of the way so that the emergency exit can be used so once I get these hoses off on both sides then I'll go underneath and take these off but we'll have to patch these holes at some point let me just say that I have had it with hose clamps more so 
I've had it with goopy stuff falling on me. Ah! One. Out. Done! <laughs> Dirtiest I've been all day. And those two holes there and there are the last of the hoses that need to be pulled out of this thing. So essentially, we are done removing the heater pieces. <laughs> Not insignificant. This is the back side of the heater. The heater that's in the front. Yes. And somewhere, there's hoses coming into this, but I don't see them. So maybe I just have to pull it out a little bit and that's it. So let's go take it out. This is the heater and it's really old school. Like you can turn on and off the heater by turning on and off this valve right here. It's pretty weird, but we're going to take it out and try to figure out how to get it unhooked from the heater system. This is going to be like a shoe cover. We don't know yet, but it'll be cool. Oh. Oh, That's oh. just the faceplate of it. Nice. We make a lot of trash in this bus. I don't know what that is. It's a giant piece of rubber or something. Does it look like it'd be easier to take out from this side or that side? You're asking the wrong person that I'm probably not qualified to answer that. From here, it looks like this side. Oh, I'm barely denting it. Maybe this drill bit's toast. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. been dreading getting this thing out of here and I'm so happy it's done. <clears throat> this right here has a bunch of wires in it and this is all for the uh, was the, the heater and the wire that turned on the there's actually a water pump that pumps the water through these hoses so it wasn't driven by the engine itself and we don't need any of these anymore so cutting them all off. Ta-da! Full disclosure, we totally procrastinated on some of the dirty work inside the bus to get started on the ceiling and do something fun and pretty, which there was some reason behind that. It was getting cold. We needed to paint before it got colder, and we got overspray on everything. So if you are going to paint the ceiling, definitely do that before you do any of the other work inside. Now we're having to come back in and take out the heater and remove all the metal strips from around these um, the, on the floor, on the edge of the bus. Then we're gonna have to scrape all the junk from around the insides of the windows and put the windows back in place. Yeah, doing the dirty work. Push really hard. Yeah, this is the floor. Babe, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> I 
think I'm done for today. <laughs> You're ready to throw in the towel. I'm just tired of fighting these screws. I'm going to have to grind off anyway.